Good for you. Manual versus automatics. I'm up to 1K. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Screw. Boom. Thank you. Thank you for getting me to the 1K. We just need that watch time up. Got loads of ideas for everybody. But uh, we're here now. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody. If you're enjoying me, please go ahead and hit that like button. Let's talk. Please, new CDL drivers talk. Please, everybody talk. What do you prefer for local food service trucking? Manual, mostly the universal one is a 10 speed or automatic. Thank you guys. We out and get this done for you guys. Get to the crib. Peace. Morning, guys. All right, so today's topic is uh, manual versus automatic. Um, what do you guys prefer for food service? That's what I like to know. Oh, school kids is out. I'm stop a little early for the cons. Oh, done. Perfect timing. Um, it's early in the morning right now, but yeah. What do you guys prefer for food service? Oh, I'm so sorry about that bird, guys. Um, reason why I say this is a good topic because you know when you do food service you're you're local or mostly mostly local um, home every night mostly and uh, literally mostly most of the year maybe one or two times you might stay away because of road conditions or something um, Depending on the type of routes that you have. Here's a good one for veterans to hop on. You know, my big dogs, my big food service dogs out there. It's a good one for y'all to hop on. Alright. Oh, be alright. Um, I do got a swing today. Swing trailer. Uh, we'll do a video on this probably. Maybe, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But what do you guys think? So for local trucking as a food service guy, what do you guys prefer? Um, it would be nice for some veterans to hop on here and talk a little bit. Um, maybe RLC TV or everybody's boy. Uh, everybody's boy, everybody knows my man, I'm Anthony TV. What do you guys think? Um, uh, so, you're already kind of local. You're already home every night. You're going through uh, not necessarily all cities, but uh, we back. So, like I was saying, you're not necessarily going through all cities. Um, there's a whole lot of small towns that you'll drive through in food service that aren't super highly populated like the big cities. You guys will notice in big cities, there's traffic everywhere. You park not in the middle of the road, but at some places you will park like out front of the store to go in. But it'd be like, yeah, you're kind of not in traffic, but you're like kind of blocking the road, I guess. Uh, when you are in a big city, it's a lot of stop go, but there's even a lot of stop go. Um, and the not too populated areas that you go through. Because we do, I mean, there's stores everywhere, guys. Everywhere, there's people, there's stores to deliver to, so yeah but what i'm trying to get to is for you what do you think is better there's a whole lot of pluses and a whole lot of um uh, i guess uh what do you call it pluses and minuses to both of them um so what is your preference and 
yeah, what do you guys think? So, let's go with automatic side. Um, front automatic. I, I enjoy, okay, let's go with what I think. So the video ain't too long, because I want this to be like a discussion. If it ever makes it, I hope so, but. So, as an automatic driver who prefers automatics, um, as a person who prefers automatics, I think it's best for an automatic. Um, I can drive both. I'm very well, I'm very good at floating gears. A lot of guys go, you're not a real trucker, and yet you drive a good, 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 good. And yet you got get wah, wah, cry, cry, cause I'm a truck driver. I'm a big truck driver. And my, and my butt hurts. My butt hurts in my truck cause I'm fat and I'm over the road. I'm joking guys, I know all you over the road guys ain't fat slobs. Quiet, quiet, I'm a truck driver. I make so much money because I'm a truck driver. But I wah wah, quiet, quiet. Anyways, um, so as a person who prefers automatics, all that stop go and stuff when you gotta go into the city, um, I, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy happening. And I got this guy who said they do enjoy it. This guy said they like. Um, they like shifting just for something to do. But for me, when I gotta go into the city, all that stop, go, shifty, shifty, hippity, bippity, uh, gear down, gear up, gear down, gear up, because there's a light here and traffic here and people everywhere. Mm -mm -mm. That ain't for me, guys. Nope, nope, nope. I'd rather have me a nice, smooth, automatic. Um, not that food service people because there is uh, people who only have er, er, who only have uh, uh, manuals but uh, for me all that stop go go stoppy stoppy slow down slow down shift up shit down nope I'd rather have me an automatic reason why I can eat my sandwich on the go. I can drink my drink on the go. Um, I can do everything on the go. Also have me a suicide knob, a four pin suicide knob made out of titanium, which cost 52 bucks. I want expensive because I didn't want to turn and it snap off. So I didn't get one of them cheap Amazon joints. I want expensive with it. Um, one second, we'll keep talking, guys. Oh, uh, skirt, skirt. I mean, you guys see what I'm doing. So, I mean, what are your takes on it? Veterans, please hop on here. Let us know, man. Us young guys, us new guys to the game, because there's a lot of guys out there retiring in this. Us new guys in the game want to know what y'all thoughts on it. Now, my friends have manuals. And you ask them, um, it seems like the younger drivers are all starting to like automatics, because they're, let's be honest guys, it's kind of like driving a car. Especially with these short trailers. It's like driving a little trailer on a pickup truck. Yeah, you're taller, but, you know, it ain't, it's like driving a trailer on a pickup truck. Um, I ain't gonna lie, the young guys like them. Um, but there, there are a lot of guys who say, nope, I will never drive automatic. Give me a, a manual or give me death. And the most used one is a 10-speed of food service, because that's what we all, you know, traded. Um and there's a lot of positives they have for it 
positive number one. When going up and down hills, your truck don't shift. You shift it. You control the shifting. Um, but you can also do that in the automatic. And like I was saying, you can also do that in the automatic. You can put it in manual mode. It's kind of like a slap stick. Especially in these new ones, they're like slap sticks. Uh, makes it pretty easy. Um, another reason is they said they have to control in the snow. Which, okay. If you feel like you have more control in the snow, then sweet. I feel like I have more control in automatic because I can still swap from automatic to manual mode. So in my eyes, I'm still more comfortable in automatic. And I also just got used to driving the automatics. Now if I was up north in like, uh, let's see, Michigan, Ohio, all that, be right. In like Michigan, Ohio, I don't know, Pennsylvania, whatever's all, Indiana, whatever's all up there. Um, I don't, uh, I think I'll still like a manual for all the snow and all that. We get snow here, but not like up there. Um, I don't know, I think I would still prefer automatic. In my opinion, I prefer automatic over everything. But well, what's your opinion, guys, out there? Let us know um, for food service. Automatic, first manual, the universal manual that we all learn in school is a 10 speed. Uh, I know Gordon Food Service, most of their trucks, at least here, are 10 speeds. They just have a few automatics manual restricted guys um, at Gordon Foods at least in this area that's how they do it um, if there's any GFS you know guys out there let us know how y'all how they do it um, pretty sure that's how they run it mostly manual except for the guys who can't so they have very few automatic trucks which in my opinion, when you go to school, even now, in the age of the automatic rising, um, you should never restrict yourself. Always get the full CDL, don't get that restriction. You never know what's gonna happen at your job. And at the end of the day, it keeps your options open. Uh. it keeps your options open um, but this video is just to try to figure out what everybody prefers in the food service community um, I know we always fight about it at my warehouse at least what's better and I see goods for both sides but I don't care I'm a very great driver of a 10 speed I can float gears with the best of them don't got to use brakes until I really need to use brakes. I'm an OG. When I went to school, I was taught floating gears because, to be honest, when I went, we didn't have very many uh, people in our school. We had very few. It was uh, a cooler. It was guys. Um, we had got, we, I, I was with a trainer for two weeks by myself. Now, most people don't get that. Um, I had no clue how to shift a car, or yeah, shift a car, but since I was with that trainer for so long, by myself, he said, oh, you've already picked it up pretty good. Driving test, but I'm going to show you how to float these gears. He showed me, about four days later, I was floating, I couldn't downshift and float. Um, I still downshift and use my clutch. But it was just nice for him to show me because um, you know how it is out there. You only use that clutch all the time. And that's another thing. You get tired of using that clutch. It seems like a little extra work when 
you know, automatic's like driving a car. You know what I'm saying? That's a another big plus to automatic. It's like driving a car is nice and easy on you. Well, that's my opinion, anyways. Um, I know I didn't say too many pluses for a manual transmission in a food service game, but uh, guys out there with them, that's your job. Let us know. Why do you prefer a manual over an uh, uh, automatic? Like I said, if I have to drive a manual, I will, but the preferred thing is automatic for me. Um, that was just a little quickie, a little quickie quickie. Um, thank you guys for getting me to 1K. Uh, please, if you made it this far, go ahead and like it up. Um, let me know how I'm doing, guys. Let me know what you'd like to see out here. Um, I got loads of ideas for you guys. Um, keep sticking with me. Trucking with Didi, we here now. We up to 1K. We should get a watch time up. Make some good videos for you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, yeah, get to the bottom of the comments and let us know, man. Please let us know. We would like to know out here as new guys. New drivers would like to know. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, yeah, we out. Uh, trucking with DD. Peace. Catch y'all later.